Okay. So hi, uh, I'm Liz Well, we love it. I'm the assistant director of the UVA Valencia program. And I'm here to talk about our engineering um, program that is available to you through the University of Virginia. So we offer the engineering program during both fall and spring semesters. You get transcripts from the University of Virginia, the syllabus used our syllabi from UVA's engineering school um, and our faculty here work in conjunction with the faculty in Valencia. We have our own center with the full-time staff, which would be sort of your home base. Um, the engineering courses, of course, are all taught in English. When you're in the, the UVA center, we do ask that you only speak Spanish though. Um, and then all of our students do live with a host family around the city. So here's a shot of our center. It's located in the university part of Valencia. It's a, it's a large city, so there isn't really a set campus. It's an urban setting. Um, it's a great space. This would be where you would have your Spanish language course or courses. This would be where you would have different activities. Your, your advisors would be there. The folks that coordinate your housing are based there. Um, so this would be sort of your home base for the program. But engineering students also take their engineering courses at the Politecnica University of Valencia. Um, it's about a maybe 30 minute walk from where our center is. There's trams, buses, um, and students who are in engineering tend to be housed between the two campuses. So you'll have fairly easy access to both. Um, beautiful campus and you have full access to all the facilities available there. So here are our engineering courses, um, fall and spring, there are differences in them, what's offered, but again, these are UVA courses, UVA credit, the faculty at the Politecnica are using the UVA syllabus to teach the course. So you are getting a US discrete mathematics and theory course um, and transcript from the University of Virginia. Everyone does have to take a Spanish class. We offer 2010-2020, uh, which are the third and fourth semesters of Spanish, so an intermediate level. A lot of people can test into that if they took Spanish in high school or do some work over the summer to prepare. If you speak Spanish or have had some Spanish, you can take any of these courses based on your level. Semester students have the opportunity to sign up for a non-credit bearing service learning internship. It's a one to three hour a week commitment, but it's a great way to get out in the community, use your Spanish in a different context, um, get to know different types of people. Um, here's some sample internships that we have. A lot of them are placements in schools where you're gonna go and um, work with children and help them with their English. Um, but you can see there's lots of different options here. Um, and during your on-site orientation, they'll have a presentation where they'll go through all of the options that are available that semester. And you sign up once you're in Valencia for the one or ones that you're interested in. Our staff um, organized tons of different activities and events for you. We have four people that their full-time job is to be there for you. So there are always two people at our desk in our center. Um, you can go to them if you have questions about banking, about the phone, um, if you're confused about anything, um, if you wanna take a karate class and need to know where you can do that, they're there to help you with that. But then they organize weekly activities. Um, they accompany you on the day trips, the weekend trips. Um, so they have a lot of fun activities throughout the semester that are optional, but a great way to get to know the group and also improve your Spanish. So a little bit about Valencia. It is Spain's third largest city. It's Madrid is largest than Barcelona than Valencia. You are on the coast. Um, so beachy town. There's about over 300 days of sun a year. So climate is amazing. Um, lots of fresh produce. And it's also very easy to travel from Valencia to other parts of Spain. Um, there's an airport in Valencia. And as you may know, bus and train systems in Europe are very efficient. So there's a lot of easy travel throughout the program. 
Valencia itself is entering its third millennia. So this shot is of the cathedral and the old part of the city. Behind this building is where they found the ruins of uh, the Roman crossroads when the Romans founded the city. Um, on the other side, down toward the coast, you have the more modern part of the city. Um, Calatrava is a, a pretty well-known Valencian architect and he designed this it's called the City of Arts and Sciences. This building right here is a concert hall. This is an IMAX theater and planetarium. This is the Prince Felipe Science Museum. And then at the end of this complex is the Oceanographique, which is the largest aquarium in Europe. Um, and they do group visits to that um, for a reduced fee if you're interested. Here's another shot. You can see that City of Arts and Sciences down by the port, um, but this is the Rio. So in the late 50s, there were really bad floods and they diverted the river around to the other side of the city and debated what they were going to do with this space. There was some talk of turning it into a multi-lane roadway, but thankfully, smarter heads prevailed and they turned it into this beautiful park. So it stretches all around the northern you know, border of what used to be the old walled city. Um, there's running paths, bike rentals. This, there's an opera house there, soccer pitches, um, exercise stations, kids playgrounds. It's a very vibrant, active part of the city, parrots in the palm trees and um, a, a wonderful place to go. So you will in Valencia go and spend time in the Rio, in the river. Um, it's, it's, amazing to have such a great green space in a big city like Valencia. I think another benefit of, of Valencia again is you're on the coast. So you do have, of course, the coastline, the beaches, beautiful beaches throughout the region, but also very easy access to mountains, lots of smaller towns, um, mountain climbing, different activities. So there's a lot to do very close to the city. You don't have to travel too far afield to really have a varied experience while you're there. In the fall, um, they will offer an optional trip to walk the last 10 days of the Camino de Santiago. This is one of the old pilgrimage routes. Um, so you end up in Santiago de Compostela. They give help you get all the gear. We have staff accompany you, um, but that's a great activity to do during fall break, a pretty unique um, experience while you're in Spain. And students do um, enjoy traveling. We have day trips built into the program. So this is Peniscola, one of the day trips. Um, then there's some, there's always a weekend, longer weekend trip for an additional fee, but we have it all set up. So on Friday morning, you get on the bus and we have the hotel and the site visits and everything arranged. Um, so those are great to do, but then there's also opportunities for independent travel. Um, Generally, you'll have, oops, sorry, you will have three-day weekends, so it, it can be easy to travel within Spain um, and, and just explore the various regions. So in order for to be accepted by the University of Virginia, you have to have at least a 2.5 GPA, um, should have, again, at least that one year of college level beginning Spanish or the equivalent. Again, a lot of people do have that coming out of high school. Um, or if you don't, but can make plans to do Spanish over the summer, you could be eligible for a fall semester. Um, there's our website, valencia.virginia.edu, programs in engineering. I have a placement chart here. So this is where you can see if you took an AP and got a four or five, you're perfectly fine, ready to go, um, SAT two, there is a placement exam on the UVA Spanish department website. So if um, you wanted to, you didn't maybe take the AP, but you could still take the placement test and see where you end up um, in 2010 or 2020. Um, and I'll work with you on figuring that out. So here are dates. Um, Applications are processed on a rolling basis. So as people finish their applications, we process them and let you know you're accepted. Mm -hmm. Applications are found at educationabroad.virginia.edu. 
and my email is there if anyone has questions or wants more information or has specific um, concerns about maybe the housing or the courses, feel free to reach out to me. So thanks. Um, if you have questions, please do reach out and I look forward to working with you. Hey Liz, I do have a couple questions for you. Um, okay. Could you talk a little bit more about um, housing and what that looks like in the meals that are included? Mm -hmm. So all of our students do live with host families around the city. Again, engineering students tend to be placed between where our building is and the campus of the Politecnica University. Um, there is a questionnaire on the application about the type of family you want. So there's drop downs, large family, small family, smoking, no smoking, pets, no pets. And then there's a text box where someone can indicate any other, sorry, any other sort of um, housing needs that they have. Um, you can be the only student in the household or have a program roommate or housemate from um, who's also doing the, probably the engineering. Um, you do get three meals a day with your family and your laundry is done for you once a week. If you're going to have class mit through a meal time, you just let the host mother know and she'll pack a lunch for you. So you get three Spanish meals a day. Um, they eat about five times a day there. So you would be responsible for that sort of mid morning snack and the, you know, papa's evening kind of snacks. Great, thank you. And uh, if students go together, are they able to opt in to room together in a homestay? Yeah. Yes, they can request that on the application to be with each other, or if they've heard from a previous student that they had a host mom they really like, they can request a specific host mother. Perfect, okay. And for students who might not have the Spanish language um, equivalency there, but are still interested in the program, you would suggest that they um, get the Spanish language proficiency or is there, um, is there a way to just take the English speaking classes through UVA? You have to take at least one Spanish course. So we need them at least at that third level. So the first semester of intermediate Spanish. Okay. So I've had some students do something at a community college over the summer. Um, we probably starting this upcoming semester are going to offer a language intensive week before the start of the program. It's very new, <laughs> um, okay. but that would be, there would be a nominal fee attached to that just for the housing mostly, but we would have um, an intensive Spanish week for engineering students before the other students arrive so that they can really get more comfortable with the language. Okay, great. Um, that was all the questions I had. Thank you. Uh-huh.